Hey, so guys, uh, quick t tips about uh, the CO2 leaking. Uh, I have watched uh, YouTube. I try uh, Teflon tape and then I try just regular tape, black tape, electrical tape. And I think I solved the issue. The issue is that um, if you, um, yeah, remove the CO2 and there's a little two notch down there you could use flathead to stick it in there and turn it left turn it left until the little sharp thing goes smaller and smaller and that's when you put your co2 in there and that's uh, make it don't doesn't leak what causes the leaking is when um <clears throat> you turn this and the co2 turns so it's tying tying the um how do you say this? Uh, the twisty thing inside it with the um, sharp things in it that uh, poke uh, the CO2. So that, sh that gets longer. But if you loosen up, it gets shorter enough to poke uh, poke the CO2. Uh, this this one is the one that is poked too deep. So I adjust it. <clears throat> and this one is like just right. You can see it. That should be how it looks like. You see the two difference. So the one to the left is adjust, the one to the right is not. So what caused that to happen is when you adjust your CO2, put it in, and then you turn it, and the CO2 turn too. So it's adjusting that. So when next time when you do it, try to hold the CO2 and adjust it. Right now, I test in the waters. That's why it's wet. So, um, <clears throat> so there's no leaks. So I'm good. I'm good. And this one, it's been good. So, <clears throat> so I tried the method using Teflon tape. Doesn't not work for me. So I tried this method, which uh, I learned myself. Cause I just look at it, it's like, oh, this adjustment to it, so I adjust it myself. Cause I went to YouTube, it did not say anything about adjusting that. So here it is this is the number one job.